the pharmaceutical companies would have you believe that a cure for ED is recent with the discovery of sildenafil Viagra. However there have been effective natural cures for ED for thousands of years. In more recent years with the introduction of modern extraction techniques used when manufacturing today's capsules and tablets the active ingredients are able to be taken up by the body more easily, making them even more effective. The flip side of that is the side effects have become more pronounced. There is some confusion when discussing natural cures for ED because there are two sets of herbs and plants. One set increase hormone levels but do nothing to dilate blood vessels open up blood vessels. So curing ED This is a nightmare for someone suffering with erectile dysfunction because it increases desire but does nothing to enable strong erections. Here are the, the most effective plants in the two groups. 1. Plants that increase hormone production Ginseng A plant found in the colder areas of North America and Asia. Only the root is used for medicinal purposes Very well known aphrodisiac that increases desire and energy levels. Polygonatum verticillatum A Himalayan flowering plant A legendary aphrodisiac in Asia Desert Cistache An Asian parasitic plant that looks like a cross between a pine cone and a pineapple. A well-established sex tonic. It activates sex hormones in both sexes. Rhodiola sacra a Tibetan plant whose name derives from the Greek rhodon which means rose because of the rose-like smell of the roots. Only recently available outside Asia. Has been used as a sex tonic for thousands of years. Tongkat Ali a flowering plant well known in Malaysia and Indonesia increases testosterone levels. Used by bodybuilders too. Natural cures for ED The following plants dilate blood vessels but usually only work completely successfully as a combination, not on their own. Horny goatweed probably the best known natural cure for ED. Also known as Epimedia its common name was as a result of goat herders noticing that goats eating the plant were stimulated into excessive copulation. Opens up the blood vessels. It also stimulates the sensory nerves particularly in the genital region in both sexes can be successful with some people on its own. Cordyceps sinensis featured on the BBC's Wild China, known as the king of invigorants, opens up the blood vessels particularly to their groin. Huge black market trade for it in China. It's a fungus found at 4,000 feet on the Tibetan Plateau. When bought in capsule form results can vary wildly because of different processing techniques. Curculego rhizome This is Asian urban is the dried rhizome of Curculego orchids Opens up the blood vessels Long history of treatment for erectile dysfunction L-arginine and amino acid used to make nitric oxide in the body which dilates the blood vessels Can be effective in some people and is available in capsule form However it is to be taken all day Around 8 capsules a day and is very slow to start to work Up to a week Ginkgo A tree found in Japan and China can help as a natural cure for ED because it helps blood flow by thinning the blood. However it is associated with a variety of side effects including heartburn, breathing problems and seizures. Yohimba This is the bark of the Yohimba tree in Africa. Again can be useful in some people in terms of an a natural cure for ED but unfortunately is associated with serious side effects including anxiety, fast and irregular heartbeats, and stomach cramps. The best natural products for ED always have a combination of at least some of the above but results vary according to the proportions of each and the different extraction techniques. Find out which one did best in surveys here.